Hi everyone, and I'm back, Teacher Ling from ChemGlish.com. And of course, today we'll be doing the continuation of our discussion from our previous video. It's from Communicating in Business Book. So, class, are you ready? Alright, this would definitely help you to improve your communication skills, especially in business. So, last time we discussed module number three, presentations, planning, and getting started. Okay? We discussed about the characteristics of a good presentation. And we did the text as well. Okay. And now, let's have unit six. It's under the topic planning and getting started still. Okay. And this is the listening. So I just want you to look at the pictures. Okay. Now let's do 58. The audience. Look at the picture. Okay. So as you can see, there is a presentation going on. Right? Okay. Read the comments from this audience who are listening to a presentation at an international conference. What caused the problem in each case? Let's say letter A. What on earth is he talking about? I have no idea. Hey, Sarah. Wake up. He's finished. Read that. I can't read that. I need a pair of binoculars. Speak up. I can't hear a thing. Summarize four main points. I only noticed one. Have I been asleep? Oh, from those comments that you've heard. What do you think okay is the problem or what caused the problem so for the first one what, what on earth is he talking about so it's like they do not understand what is the presentation all about it's not clearly the message is not clearly stated and delivered okay hey Sarah wake up he's finished so we can say that Yes, it is boring. That made Sarah fell asleep. Okay, read that. I can't read. You need a pair of binoculars because... Right, the letters are written in a very small um, font or size, right? It's not readable. Especially those people who are at the back. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. It, it would be speaker, I can't hear a thing. Oh, look at the speaker. Yes, he, his voice is not that clear and loud. All right. Of course, when you're doing a presentation, you have to have a modulated, well-modulated voice in order to be heard. Okay. Of those people who are all in that conference or presentation summarize four main points yes it simply talks about that most or almost the audience did not understand what has been discussed okay so um, how about you what do you think can you give me your comment or opinion about the conference? All right. Now, look at the following situations. We have four. A medical conference in Tokyo with papers on new techniques in open heart surgery. That's the first one. Next, an internal meeting of admin administrative staff to discuss a new accounting procedure. Next, the purchasing and product managers of a Taiwanese company interested in buying some production equipment from your company. A staff meeting to discuss a charity event for earthquake victims for the last one. Imagine you have to give a brief presentation in two of the previous situations plus one other situation that you decide on 
make brief notes on the following okay and these are the things that you have to consider will your talk be formal or informal what are the audience's expectation in terms of technical detail expertise etc what is the audience probable level of specialist knowledge are they experts or non-experts how long will your talk be five minutes 20 minutes half a day or longer next what is your policy on questions will the audience interrupt or will they ask questions afterwards will there be any discussion all right or how will you help the audience to remember what you tell them so let's say you chose this two okay so you have to make or prepare okay your presentation on that or on those topics okay you have to answer the questions in doing your presentation you have to consider the given questions okay so you can say that oh your talk would be informal so that people can easily understand this since this is about medical or heart surgery okay new accounting procedures so that the audience won't have a hard time understanding this you can say it like that okay so you have to tell me also the audience expectations okay and then what is the audience probable level how long this is very important how long will your talk be or how long will it uh, last your talk okay let's say um, for 20 minutes or half a day let's say for each topic you have 20 or 30 minutes let's say one hour and then what is your policy on questions this is very important so that you can also evaluate your own presentation if of course the audience have their questions and can or they are able to answer your questions that only mean one thing that they understand something from it and there are things that are still vague for them okay and of course you have to leave a mark like your words or discussion should be remembered by the audience okay so are you ready okay well then let's start it you may give your presentation now all right and teacher and the class would just listen to it okay that's good and i think that is a good job for today and we'll discuss that on our review for our next video and again this has been teacher lean i hope that you are able to get something and learn something from our today's activity i'll see you again